Rex Riley chose nursing because he loves helping others. While high levels of stress come with the job, he never imagined this safety would be a concern until Labor Day of last year. They started to become erratic and started screaming. When a patient experiencing a mental health crisis came into the emergency room at a Bon Secours facility, her companion was carrying a weapon. And this person had a firearm and threatened to shoot us up. Um, fortunately, that didn't happen. Um, but that put terror in a lot of people's lives and in their heads. Raleigh says it's been hard to forget that day. I had a woman, I walked into her room and she was just crying. And, excuse me, it's gonna make me cry because I was thinking about, um, how do you tell somebody it's gonna be okay? Because you don't know, you don't know. Despite the seriousness of the situation, Riley says the court system dismissed the case. Many hospitals face similar battles. It walks through the doors every day. A growing number of patients physically and verbally assaulting health care workers, causing many to leave the profession. That's according to the Virginia Hospital and Health Care Association. Security officer Corey Sheffield was strangled by a patient in March of last year. The hospital almost feels like they're backed in a corner. We have to help them. You know, that's what we want to do. That's what our job is. But how do we get these people to respect us and respect our, our policies, our procedures? Hi, I'm a nurse and I'm very proud to work in a hospital here in Virginia. In a new public service announcement, the HHA is launching a campaign called Help Us Help You to draw attention to the heightened threats facing health care workers today. The organization says health care workers are five times more likely to experience workplace violence injuries compared to workers in other industries. Please help us help you. During COVID, I started to hear stories from many, many physicians and nurses uh, and other health professionals. In addition to public awareness, U.S. Senator Tim Kaine is proposing legislation that would give hospital staff enhanced legal protections against workplace assaults. At the state level, the General Assembly has also passed laws to strengthen penalties for people who threaten health care workers. These people have so much on their shoulders and we rely on them so much and we don't want to give people reasons to leave the profession or not join the profession because look, we're going to need these people more, not less, in years to come. Kane says there's more work to be done. Which I really would welcome. I feel like you can get punished more for misbehaving on an airplane than you can in a hospital. Raleigh says while his love for patients overrides any fear, he knows things must change. We need all of us. Um, and if we work together and if we talk about things and we are out there advocating for ourselves, I think things will change. In Chesterfield County, Tracy Sears, CBS 6 News.